Good morning and happy Mother's Day to you. I am feeling like a teenager right now. I'm far away from it, but I we snuck my mom out of the house today. She's out delivering mass to all the women in the church that she made mass for with a little gift bag for all of them on Mother's Day. So she's out doing that. And so I wanted to come here and do this today in a place surrounded by things that means so much to not only me, but me, my six brothers and sisters, my parents' 22 grandchildren, their 30 great grandchildren, and their two great great grandchildren. I'm in the formal living room where everything happened when we were kids. It's where we celebrated every holiday. It's where we listened to records. It's where we watched TV. I can remember sitting right across from me watching The Wizard of Oz. We weren't allowed to have anything in here to drink. I put an orange crush underneath a blanket and oops, it tipped over and the carpet was brand new. Um, the carpet has since then been replaced, but many great memories in this room. For those of you that don't have your mother, I hope that today is a day where you treasure those memories, um, both most recent and the legacy that they left for you to carry on. I'm gonna read a poem that has meant a lot to me through the years and I'm going to read it. I have it memorized, but it's just screwed me up like on five different takes. And it says, up in the attic, down on my knees, lifetimes of boxes, timeless to me, letters and photographs, yellowed with years, some bringing laughter, some bringing tears. Time never changes the memories, the faces of loved ones who bring to me. All that I come from and all that I live for and all that I'm going to be. My precious family is more than an heirloom to me. There are a few things that I wanna talk about my mom um, that make her larger than life to me. I mean, the woman's an amazing cook and she cooks. She could just think my dad's coming home for lunch and dad could bring five people home with him. And in an instant, people are sitting at her table just having a four course meal, like she knew they were coming for hours. Um, her ability to sew, I own a bunch of rentals and people say, where'd you learn to do all that stuff? Your dad must have been amazing. And not that my dad's not amazing, but every home improvement thing I learned from my mother. Um, I cut my own hair this morning, thanks to her. She cut our hair all our lives. And when I went to college, I just kept doing it. And so, this whole stay at home order and the shutting down of barbershops um, has affected me very little. My mom taught me the need to recycle, to reuse, the importance of music and singing. And um, all of us kids play an instrument. My mom and dad played in a county band together in the high school. Um, mom plays the flute, dad plays the trumpet, and music was very important to both of us and the need to have a song in your heart. The other thing that my parents taught me though was um, the importance of faith. Um, we went to church every single Sunday and at times we didn't like it, and but it was a life skill. It was just showing us that that was very important and something very important to all my siblings. The other thing about my mom being giving is my mom would give you the shirt off your ba her back. But not only would she give you the shirt off her back, she would probably be able to supply you with a full robe, wardrobe, regardless of male or female, regardless of your size. Um, she is just the epitome of recycling and organizing to help people out in their time of need. Heck, she could even probably help you furnish your house and she would make your curtains I have a confession to make, and I've said this to my mom. I know I was my mom's worst critic growing up. I couldn't imagine why the, the kitchen counter always had dishes on it. Think about it. Nine people, three meals a day. My mom took no shortcuts. She totally did everything the right way. And I said to her, I said, why didn't you drown me as a kid? And she says, you weren't that bad. She picked out the three songs today, and I think she's pulling in the driveway, so I gotta hurry.
The first one is called, There's Within My Heart a Melody. There's within my heart a melody, Jesus whispers sweet and low. Fear not, I am with thee, peace be still, in all of life's ebb and flow. Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know, fills my every longing, keeps me singing as I go. The next one is called In Times Like These. In times like these, you need a savior. In times like these, you need an anchor. Be very sure, be very sure. Your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus, yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. Be very sure, be very sure. Your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. The last song that mom picked is called Be Not Dismayed. Be not dismayed, whate'er be tied, God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love abide, God will take care of you. God will take care of you through every day or all the way. He will take care of you. God will take care of you. So before I go, um, everybody says I'm spoiled, but to my brothers and sisters who are all listening, y'all are too. To the grandkids, y'all are too. My mother is probably the most selfless woman I have ever met. Um, and I am who I am because of the household of faith that they created 65 years ago, and it's still going strong. I am, am blessed to have had of Proverbs 31 mom. And although I'm a mommy's boy, God blessed me. As you celebrate your Mother's Day in whatever way it is that you choose or are able to celebrate it, keep a song in your heart. I'm going to do one more song. This is not one my mom picked, and I hope I can get through it, but um, here we go. Love them while you can. It's on a cassette. shoes took us to school patched our worn out jeans they soothed our tears and calmed our fears listened to our dreams somewhere along the golden years their hair has lost Voices 
just going to have to be it. Um, for 65 years, my mom has been known as Mrs. Ellen Saylor. My mom for 57 years. And I am forever thankful to God for giving me Nancy Emma Hunter Saylor as a mom. God bless you all. <laughs> 